guys and welcome to the vlog. So fall attire is obviously in full effect. I'm usually such a fall person. I love Halloween. I do all kinds of Halloween makeup and I go crazy this month but I've just been so like on a different journey this year. I kind of haven't had time for that stuff which stinks. So I've been kind of more like a summer person which I've never been. I just enjoy the sunlight. It's so much easier for me to stay awake. Right now it's all like gloomy and I would love to take a nap. I'm on my second cup of coffee for the day. They're coming here. Well, I was about to say that we're about to go to Philip's parents' house to discuss wedding things, make some plans, but apparently they're coming to our house, so I need to hurry up and clean up. I had plans for something I was gonna do today, but I didn't do it, and I'll talk about that later. <laughs> what in the heavens? What are you boys doing? Good morning. It is a rough Monday morning making some breakfast. So I definitely slept in this morning. I'm just not feeling well. Last night Philip's parents brought over Chinese food and I just felt nauseous all night long and I still feel nauseous now. So I wanted to make sure I get a good breakfast in. I really want to concentrate on diet this week. A clean diet. Welcome back to my kitchen 11 hours later, or no, 13 hours later. It's been a rough day. This is my last time this week being a negative Nancy, so let me have my moment. But I've had a shit day, okay? I just haven't had a good time today. I went to the gym after work, and I just haven't felt good all day. So at the gym, I couldn't do that much, and it was a little aggravating. So I went for like a 30 minute walk afterwards, because that was about all I could do. And then I went to about three different stores, and now it is nine o'clock. I'm starving. What I plan to eat tonight is gonna take me like a long time to make. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna show you what I got from the store. As always, most of my grocery stuff is from Aldi's. So the first place I went was Big Lots. They had a big thing of PB2 for $8. So that's good to add in for smoothies. And this isn't healthy at all, but I was like, if I can make some little like vegan cupcakes or something. They're little leaves. Happy fall, y'all. But what I got from Aldi's, I got a bag of lemons, even though I have some lemons, but I didn't do good with my lemon water last week, so these probably will have to be thrown away if not used up within the next couple days. So we got a fresh new bag, of course, got some grapes for a grape salad, except for right now I'm having an issue buying coconut shreds because all the ones I'm running into have sugar added. Like, no, I don't want that. I want the unsweetened kind, which all these didn't have them. Bilo didn't have them. They were all sweetened. I knew I should have went to Publix. But I got two bundles of bananas, two pomegranates. These are so freaking annoying to basically get the seeds out, but it's so worth it. They're so good. I don't really eat raspberries, but I seen a little like overnight oats recipe with raspberries and then all of a sudden I wanted some. Got some fresh strawberries, three packs of Italian salad mix, got some chickpeas or garbanzo beans, whatever you want to say. Got some more zucchini even though I'm sure I have plenty but I want to make some zucchini noodles this week. I got some more of this frozen rice cauliflower. I tried it last week. I like it but I do like to mix it still with rice. Frozen blueberries and this isn't something I usually buy but I was freaking starving and I knew I still had one more store to go to so I just bought this just to eat one real quick but this is vegan which is cool. This is pretty much the only unhealthy thing that I bought. I really like these kettle chips from Aldi's. I am a salt and vinegar chip kind of girl. Got some more of their organic natural peanut butter, organic salsa. I went ahead and just got three things of organic almond milk because I use it so much for coffee, smoothies, everything. And then from Bilo, I got a pack of mason jars. When I was in Bilo, I was really wishing that I had my camera because they actually have like a whole section of vegan cheeses, vegan butter, vegan stuff. And I was really impressed and excited about it because Bilo is usually one of those places where they have a lot of like not healthy stuff. But I was able to get two things of tofu. These are organic extra firm. I'm not sure how I feel about this because I've had like jackfruit type 
fake meat stuff before. I got this one because I think I'm going to try to make some burritos. So this is a Tex Mix jackfruit. How legit does this look? So this is an almond cheese. This is kind of like not healthy because it has sugar in it, but you know, it's fall. So, but I got a vegan creamer, pumpkin spice. This one only has five grams, no, two grams of sugar. So that's not too bad. I got this salad dressing. I love the honey version of this, like the honey ginger dressing, but it's a lot more unhealthy. So I just got this one. And of course for grape salad, I got some more vegan whipped cream. Unfortunately, Violet only has the kind in the heiress. <coughs> in the aerosol can. I really like the kind in the tub because the aerosol cans of the vegan whipped cream suck. So all the Aldi stuff I spent about like $57 I think and the stuff from Bilo which is not a lot at all was about $45. So getting these little specialty items does start to get expensive. You definitely don't need this stuff but um, just to kind of switch it up and keep things fun and try new things. So since I don't have enough time to make my dinner that I wanted to make without having to stay up all night, I'm going to make this. This I got from Aldi's last week and didn't try it yet. It's a black bean chipotle burger and it's made with brown rice, black beans, and jalapenos. And this bread I had in the freezer, this is a sprouted bread. I was hoping it would be something like similar to Ezekiel bread and just eat it with some vegan mayo. Of course, you know I gotta be extra and get the organic kinds. What did you have for dinner? So you had duck, and chickpea recipe? You got a foamy mouth. <laughs> Was your food good? Was it good? <laughs> All right, this little burger could have definitely been dressed a little better, but I'm just in a hurry. It's pretty good. Good morning, baby. Gotta get up. You gotta go outside and go party. Come on, sweetie, let's go. That's all you got, huh? Mm. <laughs> You're so grumpy. So I'm still on the struggle bus, but I am just trying to make things happen. Making my oatmeal with my fresh strawberries. Gonna put it in my little mason jar. I got my stuff laid out that I'm taking with me to work. And I'm about to try this pumpkin spice almond creamer for the first time. I'm super excited about it. So I carry a pretty big lunch bag, um, but I got my salad mix, cucumber, I have apples, tangerines, peanut butter for my apple, salad dressing for my salad, a shaker bottle to make protein shakes, and then I got my coffee and my little mason jar tucked in here together. So trust me, girl, I don't go hungry, ever. I'll see you guys later. Okay, you don't like, why in the rain? this cheese. I think it's gonna be delicious. Might be a little spicy. It says on the package it tastes great, so it has to. You ready? Yep. Doesn't even smell like cheese. On a sandwich that would pass. Texture's right. Doesn't taste like cheese. Doesn't taste like anything. But yeah. what I do taste is a little bit of jalapeno and dog food. You do not taste dog food. I'm down with it. I wish they would have added like milk, more nutri cheese. nutritional yeast. I'm assuming they have that in there. I wish they would have added some cheese to the cheese. Philip, shut up. Oh my God. It says contains almonds and cas casein, which is milk protein. Yeah, yeah. That was a good part. What? These sons of bitches. This isn't even vegan. Okay, continuing on trying new things. I 
bought this probably like, I don't know, like a year ago. Never used it. This is called a spiralizer. I got it from all these, surprise, surprise. But basically you can make noodles out of vegetables. I was about to say fruit, maybe fruit. Doubtful. But anyways, I am going to make some noodles out of some zucchini and I'm gonna make kind of like a spaghetti. So I've got some pasta sauce, some Italian meatless meatballs. All of these items are from Aldi's as well. Aldi's, please sponsor me. Thank you so much because I spent all my money there. If I had more time, I would add like mushroom, onion, stuff like that, but ain't nobody got time. Gonna cut off our ends. Shove this in here. Oh, it's working! Yes! Let's switch out the blade and try the thick one. Yeah, thick spiral. Yes! How cool! Well, that was pretty quick. Felt That's like what she said. All right, I'm gonna put these in here. I'm just gonna try one more time to see if we can make these a little prettier. I'm gonna throw away our little zucchini penis, even though it's very wasteful. Yeah, that's better. That's what we want. Look how cool! Yay! I love it. There are like raw vegans who would make this and eat it raw. And I could see how you could kind of do that because they're not too hard anymore. Like that blade's really broken them down. But I want it warm. Some people pan fry it. I think I'm gonna boil it. This really smells super, super good. I'm really excited to try this. This lighting is not flattering. <laughs> Fun fact, I put pepper on pretty much everything that I cook. Let's try the meatball first. It's probably hot like lava. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I definitely overcooked the noodles because they just like broke right apart. I give the Italian meatless meatballs a 10. So good. Mm. Very, 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 very good. I have one bite left and I am so full. That was so good. So good that I'm gonna try to convince Philip into eating this meatless meatball. Let's go. I feel like you should try this meatless meatball. I'm pretty good. Scale of one to 10. Yeah. I gave it a 10. You gave it a three? That's a four. Oh, I thought it was delicious. Pretty flavorful, right? Not bad for fake food. Yeah. Yeah, your passive aggressive compliments. It's nine o'clock, but I wanna hurry up and try to make some overnight oats. I'm just gonna make two mornings worth just to see how it goes. Cause I'm not gonna look up a recipe and I'm not gonna measure anything. All right, so these are my mason jars. I'm gonna make one with strawberries, some almond extract, cinnamon, and some almond slices. And then I'm gonna make the other one with some fresh raspberries, some frozen blueberries, and some vanilla extract. Getting close to 10 o'clock, which is not good because I still need to take a quick, quick bath. And I have a 5.35 a.m. workout, but there's always coffee and there's no way in hell I'm missing that workout. and I am not at work. I'm at home, in bed, still in my sweaty workout clothes. I'm about to try my oatmeal. This is what it looks like. Hopefully it's good. Mmm. So, when I got home from the gym, I felt pretty crappy. I felt so exhausted all of a sudden. My stomach was messed up and I think I've just been kind of starting to get a little like something, a little sick. Cause Monday I felt 
terrible. I did not want to go into work, but I always go into work sick. I feel a lot better right now, especially now that I'm getting something to eat. Because when I got home, I just like, ugh. Uh, now I just feel super, super weak. I'm going to make sure I eat good today. I'm going to get some editing done and just hang around the house. Um, I'd never have been a person to call into work ever, ever, ever. Unless I have the flu. But I have a lot of sick time. And I think it's silly um, when I'm pushing myself as hard as I am in so many areas to not take a day if I need a day. So I want to make sure I get everything in check, get myself good, get some stuff done around the house. So we are on team get well today. Me and my baby over here. We're going to take it easy. But in Michelle's true fashion, we're going to get a lot of shit done. I don't just not do stuff. Like, that's not an option. Life is way too short to let any day pass you by. Unless you have a flu or something. Now I gotta get this baby out of his comfortable position to turn off this camera. <laughs> I'm upstairs trying to edit and somebody keeps barking. And when he's sitting like this, that means he wants something out of his toy box and he needs help with, apparently. Want this? No. You want this one? Dinosaur? No. make just a quick lunch while he is deciding what he wants to do inside outside I want toys I don't want toys I don't know what I'm gonna do when I have a real kid apparently nothing but figure out what they want to do so I'm just going to make my little black bean burger because that was so good and I might treat myself and have two So let's try these with the avocado. Mm-hmm, mm, mm, mm. Yummy in my tummy. I'm so sorry that I'm always in my kitchen, but being healthy is about like eating like a lot, right? I am going to make the rest of our zucchini noodles and I'm gonna try making the noodles a little different. Last night I boiled them and tonight I'm going to saute them. So I'm gonna try that, see if I like it any better. I need to get more creative with uh, my positioning of the camera in my house. I think the saute does better. Mm, mm, mm. Our lives. You and I have been conditioned into believing that we need a reason for joy. Quantum creators to change something within us. In the brain's limbic system is part of the autonomic nervous system. And within the brain are there specific tissues that are responsible for keeping the heart beating. So the audiobook I've been listening to is Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza. Dispenza? It's really interesting, but it's very matter of fact. Because it's more about like the scientific reason why maybe you have bad habits or the scientific reason why positivity can change things. I had to delete YouTube off of my phone like a few weeks ago because I haven't had space. So I haven't been listening to my normal like motivational YouTube videos, motivational speeches. So I feel like I'm super off track with that and I really want to get back into it because I find it's very helpful because unless your life is just, you know, easy peasy lemon squeezy it's nice to have a little um pick me up every day and a little reminder of what you know you're here for and why you're working so hard sometimes i can get frustrated because i feel like i'm working so hard and sometimes i wonder for what but i just know that something amazing is gonna happen one day for me and amazing things have already happened for me so i just need to number one whoa be appreciative for what I already have whilst also being patient for amazing things that will definitely come 
when they're ready. Welcome back guys. It is about 20 minutes till eight and I am hungry. I ate a lot today, but I ate a lot of healthy things today and my stomach's still messed up. So basically everything that I ate exited my body very quickly. It's been a rough day. So I really don't want to eat anything like too fibery. The blessing in disguise was that I was able to get a ton of editing done yesterday. I edited pretty much the entire day. Um, and I was really behind on that this week. I really wish I could film a Halloween look. That's something that is like usually my thing, my month. I don't do it often, but every time I do, I do like special effects makeup. I really surprise myself most of the time. I don't have much fun these days. I mean, like I have fun at the gym and stuff like that, but everything's always work, 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 go, go, go. Wedding plan, plan, plan. <laughs> But hopefully after the wedding and everything, I'll just have more time to relax and do more stuff that's fun. Good morning, friends. It is Friday. Thank you, Jesus. But I just got home from the gym. I did a strength training class. Really glad that I went. I almost did not make it to the gym this morning. My alarm went off at five o'clock, hit the snooze button. I was like, no, not today, Satan. Alarm went off at 5.05, hit the snooze again. I was like, no, thank you. I don't want no part of that. And then I was like, bitch, you had plenty of sleep last night. So why aren't you going? So I got up, went to the gym, had a great time. So this morning it was an instructor that I haven't worked out with in a really long time. I took her class a week ago, but I was wearing really baggy clothes. Um, and today after class, she came up to me and was like, what are you doing? You look good, like really good. What have you been doing? I'm like, me, I don't know how to have a normal conversation. So I just said, I'm a bunch of stuff, is what I said, a bunch of stuff. Real specific, Michelle. But what I really should have said to her is I've been up in this gym every day. I'm so socially awkward. <laughs> I was just scrolling on Facebook real quick and my little like memories popped up from five years ago. This is what I was eating. A McRib, large fry, large sweet tea, and it looks like I got a little coffee here. Caption is whoopsies. But the comments was the funny thing. Somebody's like, no ma'am, that is not healthy. And I said, but it was an accident. And then a girl that I worked with at my first job ever, but we spent a lot of time together. We we're friends outside of work too. And she said, that grease will make you feel sick. I remember you always felt awful at the Nutty. The place I worked was the Nutty Sweet Shop. We mostly made ice cream, but of course there was like a lot of food and all of it was mostly fried. Fries, onion rings, hot dogs, club sandwiches, chili cheeseburgers. I have like some kind of like blood sugar issue, I think. As long as I'm eating really healthy and eating very often, I feel great, I'm fine. I do kind of struggle with tiredness, but besides that, I'm not like passing out and throwing up and stuff like that like I used to do. So yeah, just a little uh, fun fact about myself. Uh, I used to make ice cream when I was young and I would feel like shit the whole time while I did it because I would eat bad things while I was there. 
while I'm in a chatty mood, um, since I haven't been in one really all week. <laughs> so this past Sunday, I was supposed to do a 5K, and it was for suicide awareness. Me and my friend were supposed to go. They changed the location of the place last minute, so my friend wasn't able to go. I don't know. I was really scared to go by myself. I know it's a huge event. There's so many different people there. Um, and I really did feel very guilty about not going. And I really wanted to include that in the vlog because, um, you know, most of us have either struggled with things like that ourselves or we know somebody who struggled. I lost somebody that I worked with this year due to that. And it was really tough because we did work together for about four years. When people take their own lives, it really does affect so many people around them because now they're stuck with the thoughts of, is there something I could have done? And there's so much guilt that goes into it. It's just crazy. It is something right after that it changed a lot in me I changed a lot of things um, in me trying to take advantage of my life and start to try to really get a grip on any like emotional mental issues that I have it was just like a holy shit this can be so serious long story short you have one life work your hardest to live your best life possible and enjoy the process I gotta wake up oh mommy can't touch you Oh, but I can rub your belly though. Hello. So it's Friday evening and Philip and I are about to go watch Halloween. Is that what it's called? Just Halloween. So yeah, we're going to go to the movies, make bad decisions, eat candy, popcorn. My stomach's been jacked up all day today. Hasn't been a fun time, but we're just trying to push through, you know. Fail. So we went out to eat and then we got to the movie theater and it was the most packed I've ever seen that movie theater before. So we left, which I'm really glad. So what we're going to do is we're going to just cuddle up, eat some popcorn, eat some candy, and watch the old Halloween movies. Cover your eyes. Good morning, friends. It is Saturday morning, and I am on my way to work. I asked Philip to go get me some breakfast this morning. I was thinking like something super quick and easy, like McDonald's. I'm not a big McDonald's person, but I like to make sure that I'm fed before I go into work. And I just assumed he would go get it, and he said no. And I was like, excuse me. <laughs> mood getting ready for work and then I was just like you know what Michelle you didn't need freaking McDonald's anyways so it's probably a blessing in disguise that your fiance is a shithead he doesn't like to eat breakfast so that's why he's just like nah I don't want to so I made a smoothie and some coffee because apparently I need it this morning because <laughs> I'm grumpy and I'm able to wear pants jeans that I have not been able to fit and probably like three years maybe more that's really exciting that makes me feel good and kind of try to stay on track and know that you don't need to get mad at your fiance and make it a bad weekend just because he wouldn't go get you McDonald's okay we're on to better things now and today will be a good day I'm alive my stomach feels way better today thank you Jesus so yeah I'm just gonna try to pet myself up I'm about to listen to some Cardi B or an audiobook or something on the way to work to get me excited for the day. But yeah, I'll see you guys later on. I'm covering up my work shirt. <laughs> so it's lunchtime and so far I'm having a pretty decent day. I just stopped by Poke Bros to get some lunch. Let me show you. So this is the bowl that I got. It's got some like seaweed on top. It's got different sauces on it, which I'm sure are not dairy free. But I got the tofu going. Got some cucumbers, some edamame, avocado. Got a little bit of pineapple in there and then some brown rice on the bottom. So this is lunch. Just a bunch of clumpy mascara. Oh yeah, she's a blogger. She's very well known. I'm like, by who? <laughs> Nobody. It's like a little zucchini penis. Zucchini. Zucchini. <laughs> Are they snacks? Philip. I wanted watermelons. Watermelon gummies, go back to the store. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, thanks for these snacks, but if you could go back for some watermelons, that'd be good. I won't. Aww. <coughs> oh, 
I smell like a really ripe onion. Like you just cut it and you stick your face right in it. That's what I smell like. Ah.